Traders. This is Mike Hamilton from Trade Easy Way. And just a quick look at these markets. This is the Dow on a daily chart. And you can see if you look left, I've got this green line, green line of resistance along here. Uh, we are really struggling with this. Uh, the Dow's got just no volume. We seem to all be hitting the sort of summer low volume season. So what I would like to see is a nice spike higher and then get a chance to get short just at this level here and then see if we can tumble down but uh, all the time we are just doing this kind of business it's really hard to to trade uh, we've got uh, just over an hour till the end of the day's trading in the US so um, still time for it to break through so just see what your charts are looking like when you come to your screens tomorrow uh, this is the dollar basket dollar index and you can see we pushed into that level of resistance and we're seeing this massive sell off on non farm payroll and we're just settling in on the support level so we need some kind of decision on this are we going to just keep going coming down or are we going to form a base here and then push back up to the highs uh, so that until we get some kind of decision now of these markets then this is where we are at for data, we have tomorrow. We have, by the time we get to our screen, we've got to have a lot of uh, yen data, Japanese data, out of the way, and the Chinese trade balance. So, this is could well be an indication of why we are hovering around because we're expecting a good number. And then into the euro session, we've got um, inflation from the Swissy, and then we've got. UK manufacturing, housing starts, uh, job openings, crude oil, and then in the evening after the Dow's closed, we've got uh, New Zealand rates. We're looking for a drop. Um, markets are don't seem to be anticipating that. The um, New Zealand dollar has been pretty strong, so um, let's see where we come into that so I'll be interested to look at the pound tomorrow and let's just look at the pound now and this pound US on the daily chart you can see let me get rid of that, that we keep knocking our heads into this 146 and selling I think the danger is that this could just capitulate this could just give up um, you know, we've hit a trend line yesterday, we've got resistance above, so we're in a wedge, and it's just a question of which way we're going to come out of this. So we are in an apex here, and the apex is getting smaller and smaller. So we've got what um, two and a bit weeks till the referendum. We could easily spend the next two weeks in this range. Uh, if you look over here, get my pen, in March last year we were very, very flat, uh, took a dip and then blasted up into May and then peaked out in June, July. Okay, so if, if we achieve the same pattern with this one, then I would envisage, <laughs> assuming we're going to break the upside, don't be surprised to see a push close to somewhere around 140 uh, to 145 mark, somewhere around here, dip into here, at which point that could get the, balls, the volume going and then see us back up. So just watch out for this kind of play to see if we come into a main support line down here 142 so if this little pattern plays out we'll stay pretty light volume um, push to the outside and then a break up uh, if you look at the referendum the Scottish referendum era uh, after that referendum, so on September 14, 2014, we pushed up into 
this resistance area and then continue to drift lower for the rest of 2015 and then it only bottoms out in April 15. So yeah, that's another scenario we could achieve if yeah we could see a push into this area here and then just just drift lower. And that would figure because if we're going to get the US um, putting off rates until July uh, or late summer, early autumn, then that would figure. We could push into this resistance area here, which is 149 nearly, uh, and then start to see some of these lower levels. Okay, but all the time we're at uh, apex like this, it's um, a tough call. What would I do? I, at this stage, I would actually, the fact we are under the 200 EMA here, all the time you're under the 200 EMA, I would, I would just continue to um, sell any highs, sell any rallies. Uh, 622 is yeah, a major area of resistance. Um, let's see if that can push lower. Right, so let's move on. Uh, one chart I'm looking very, very closely at the moment is the euro yen. I think that we this has been beaten up for a long time, and you can see this one two two area here was a big area from April 13. So at the moment we have this chart pattern, we have this funnel where all the highs are selling. Uh, ever since, well really ever since December 14 when uh, Drahi announced that he was going to ease uh, this is pretty much where he started easing last year I believe um, so all the highs are getting sold into but, but that now we are back down to this uh, retracement level and I'm just wondering here if we are going to get a reversal. This is potentially a three-way reversal that might have already taken place. It's just a question if we can if we can hold one two two into tomorrow. Um, I would like to get involved in this and see if we can push up to at least one two six and potentially break out, potentially break back up to these highs on this one. Uh, but close under here, I mean, it's a potential reversal bar, isn't it? Under this resistance from uh, end of May. So we could just roll over and then, then really just catch a cold and, and start dropping to um, down to these levels down here. But uh, I'm just watching to see if this can hold. Because if we do break out of here, I think we'll, we'll very, very quickly get back up to 140. So Euro Yen is going to be a focus of mine because I like the chart pattern. Whoops. Gold, um, massive push to the upside. Uh, we're right on the line here, right on a sort of key pivot. Um, with a big push like that, I think any drop down to 12.30 could get bought and then we could start attacking the highs again. Oil, we are getting very, very close to the October 15 highs. So the weak dollar, no sign of that giving way. And if we close above 51, then we could start attacking 58. All right, if that helps, and see you soon.